when we approach problems as leaders, we know a lot and we know a lot about a problem. And we sometimes forget that the solution that we are trying to design needs deeply to meet the needs of an end user. We believe that uh, designers need to co collaborate radically with people who are very different from themselves. And we believe that that's one of the best ways to get different kinds and a diversity of information and that this is critical for, for problem solving. I think you know one of the most important aspects of design thinking is uh, forming empathy for one's um, customers or clients or service recipients. It's a way for organizations to really um, leverage the, crea the creativity latent in the organization um, to identify and create solutions to unmet needs among uh, users or, or people's customers. For us, the space for activism for creating change has expanded so much. And I see what we see is a big convergent of purpose. We all want to do good. That's is in our human nature and we want to support people to do that easier than think, oh no, what's one person, what's, what's one little person can do? Got, you, you can do a lot. We don't want to say we have the solutions for things, because we don't. But what we want to do is encourage innovation at every stage of our thinking and every stage of our process, both in Northcott, in our organisation, but also more broadly. And uh, what design thinking allows you to do is collaborate with a lot of different people who are interested in the same thing with the right with a variety of solutions and in a variety of ways to solve problems. Increasingly, we're finding people from governmental agencies embracing design thinking and asking for design thinking workshops because they have, I think, realized and recognized that this is a way to rapidly come up with solutions. It's very easy to forget when we get bogged down in bureaucratic administrative tasks. What is this for? And this is why the design thinking process is so important, really. It's about people. At the end of the day, design thinking is really about um, having a, 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 a right mindset. One of the tensions is when we're designing a solution for an individual user or an individual community, the question is, will this scale? And how you scale this kind of approach? So for me, it's almost like I'm confused in anticipation of how I might be able to sort of utilize these skills later on. We can very quickly test whether the need we've identified in our customer or client is, is real. Um, the other thing is that by doing that, we, we, it's actually a really affordable way of iterating or moving towards a solution that meets our customers' needs because we're, we're not building, trying to build a perfect thing from the very beginning that may or may not actually be meeting the need of our, of our customer or our client. Not jumping straight to the solution is going through that design thinking process and accepting um, the variety of different outcomes that can come from that and not being so solution focused. I think the hardest bit was the bit where we did the how might we statements. I really want to work with interaction design to help people like in health technologies. So with the empathy exercise today, that really helps me understand the kind of audience and empathize with them as well. Earlier we had to do a thing where we had to make assumptions about um, underlying needs that other people had and I guess that was the hardest thing only in the sense that you know you have, you, you have to take a leap and um, you know make a judgment on what somebody else needs who you don't know so that was kind of something that I wasn't expecting but it was actually really cool. And Anyone can do this and you can start now and the, the most important thing in starting is in really understanding who, who are your users I just, I'm excited about it percolating and starting to work out how it can relate to what I'm going to do in my day to day. It's very strategic to use design thinking because you're involving, you have so many stakeholders involved, so the ownership is increased, the responsibility for a program. When you get everyone's skin in the game, as we say, things work out better.